हेलो गाय दिस इज हर्षवर्धन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल हर्षा सीवीएस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ईएमआई सब्जेक्ट कॉल एरर एरर्स इज अ वेरी क्रूशियल इन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन I have already said in the previous lecture what is meant by error. Error is the value that is deviated from our desired value. Okay, it is the difference or it the deviated value from our desired value. Example, our desired value is five, but we are getting the value as a four point seven. Now what is the error here? Error is zero point three. This is called as an error. Okay. it is the required value and it is the measured value so it is a deviation of a true value from our desired value always remember true value indicates our measured value okay now error c deviation of a true value the value which we are getting from desired value the value which we need to get okay and here measurement is a process of comparing unknown quantity with accepted standard quantity for example i need to take weight of a sugar how i will measure i i don't initially i don't know the weight of a sugar so it is a unknown quantity with accepted standards of quantity how i will measure sugar in terms of kg so it is called a accepted standard quantity here what is a standard quantity like kg liter okay like that we will measure our standard quantities now see factor that affect measurement such that it leads to error how errors will possible in our measurements initially inbuilt what is meant by inbuilt means for first of all aging due to temperature the component resistance it may vary so so it is called the inbuilt error and the second one personal error these personal errors are made by human while while reading the measurements okay these errors can be minimized but the inbuilt uh, errors we are unable to find it but we are trying to implant the new devices such that these inbuilt errors are getting reduced okay next see it's a very important that error is classified as a two types first one absolute and the second one percentage of error we will study uh, now about these two terms in detail okay now absolute error what is absolute error it is the different be difference between expected value and measured value what is expected value see i will say expected value means the value which we want to need what is measured value the value which we get suppose i i need a value 10 it is my expected value but what my measurement is showing uh, my reading is showing a 9.9 what is the difference 0.1 it is called a absolute error okay see these notations are very very important for expected value we need to place yn for measured value we need to place xn then what is error e equal to yn minus xn it is called a error okay now then coming to what is a here see second one we are having percentage of error percentage of error it is the ratio of a absolute error what is absolute error it is absolute error yn minus xn ratio of absolute error to the expected error i said notations are very very important for expected error we generally use yn for absolute error what is yn minus xn right so yn minus xn by yn equal to percentage of error percentage of error equal to absolute error by expected error into 100 so what is absolute error is defined by letter e expected value defined by the letter yn into 100 c e is defined as yn minus xn 
it means expected value minus measured value by expected value into 100 it is called a percentage of error now coming to relative accuracy relative accuracy is given by the notation capital a what is how relative accuracy is defined 1 minus error okay remember carefully it's a 1 minus error if we remove error we will get our original i mean um, the, if we remove our error we will get some required value okay now what is a 1 minus error is this error right y n minus x n by y n it is a percentage of error okay now percentage of accuracy is it is denoted by the notation small a small a equal to 1 minus error nothing here we have written in terms of normal 1 minus error but what we have written here 100 see 1 for 1 100 percent for error it is a error so it is represented as a small a we will write as a 100 minus error or write simply as see uh, 1 minus error w what is 1 minus error we have denoted as a capital a so write as capital a into 100 simply write like this okay now we will see one example so you will get more clarity see the expected value of voltage is 80 initially notations are very important what is expected value y n given y n equal to 80 okay now the measurement gives a value of 79 this is the measurement value what is measurement value notation x n so x n equal to 79 now just calculate absolute error percentage error relative accuracy percentage of accuracy now calculate one by one okay now first one absolute error what we have defined absolute error this expected value minus measured value expected value minus measured value 80 minus 79 equal to 1 volt yes now coming to percentage of accuracy what we have defined absolute value to the expected value now see yn minus xn by yn into 100 what is yn value 80 minus 79 by 80 into 100 it's a 1.25 simple just in 5 seconds you will get the answer coming to relative accuracy relative accuracy is defined by letter capital a now capital a equal to 1 minus error 1 minus 80 minus 79 by 80 1 minus 1 by 80 so 79 by 80 equal to 0 0.9875 coming to percentage of accuracy percentage of accuracy is defined by small a see percentage of accuracy equal to small a what i have said simply multiply capital a into 100 so capital a value comes here as 0 0.9875 into 100 98.75 percent or i have said here see 100 minus error percent 100 minus what is a percentage of error 1.25 from this also we get 98.75 okay hope you understand this problem and the concept behind these errors okay now you do this homework problem expected value of a current through a resistor see carefully expected value given as a 20 milli amperes however measurement yields 90 yields it means it is a measure it is our measured value i have given a hint now try calculate absolute error percentage error relative accuracy and percentage of accuracy after solving this please post your answers in the comment box Thank you guys, this is for today and guys please like, share, subscribe, if you really like please share to your friends such that they will get benefited, okay, thank you.